Hello and welcome to another video. This is another limit problem, but this time it's a bit weird or weirder than what we've done before because you have a rational expression raised to a rational expression and we're taking the limit as x goes to infinity. Now, if you plug this into Desmos or some graphing um, um, device, you'll be able to see that our answer is supposed to be one. And one makes a lot of sense Oh, no, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to make sense. Because look at this. As x goes to, let's say we can plug in infinity. 1 over infinity will be 0 raised to the power 0. And we know 0 raised to the power 0 is not 1. So you can't use intuition or logic okay, to, to solve things when you're talking about infinity. You actually have to do the math. As you go toward infinity for, on this graph, you find out that the graph is approaching one. So the answer to this is one, but you can't just look at it and plug in infinity. We don't plug in infinity, okay? We just observe what happens as you approach infinity. So let's do the algebra. Just to make things clear, I'm going to rewrite this expression so it's easier for us to deal with. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to simplify this and make it something we can easily relate with instead of having two fractions interacting at an exponential uh, level or having exponential relationships. Okay, so let's go here. Um, I'm going to say um, let, just to simplify this, let y be equal to 1 over x raised to 1 over x. Okay, let's see how we can write this so it doesn't look as messed up as what we have right here. Um, I know that I can write the inside as x to the negative 1. Okay, that's the same thing, 1 over x. And by the law of exponent, I can multiply this by this. Okay, so this is the same thing as x to the negative 1 over x. So this is another way of expressing this problem. You could have written it this way. And this makes life a lot easier. Okay, so if this is our y, um, I can actually try to bring this down by taking the natural log of it, right? So, you can take the natural log of both sides. So, the natural log of y will be, this is going to go down here, negative 1 over x, natural log of x. And this expression, if I keep writing, could be written as the natural log of y is equal to... Um, negative natural log of x divided by x. Oh, this is clean. So remember, the question we're trying to solve is this. We're trying to take, um, find the limit of y, where y is this expression. So, but this is not y, this is natural log of y. So remember to get rid of natural log you raise it to power e. So we're going to raise both sides to power e, which I could have done without doing the y substitution, but this looks a lot neater. Okay, so if we take, if we raise both to natural log of y, I mean to e, this is going to be e to the negative natural log of x divided by x. Okay, um, so let me move this higher so it doesn't Okay, so that's what we have. Now this gets rid of this, and what you have back is your y, okay, which will now be equal to, what is this expression? That's the expression. Okay, so I have finally simplified it, which I could have done right away here. But again, this is nice, okay? Remember, y is this, so I can go back now and put this expression back here, and then we can take the limit. Okay, so y will be just this, will be um, e to the negative natural log of x over x. So let's go back to the question. We have finally rewritten this expression to look like this. Okay, so we're going to say, therefore, the limit as x goes to infinity of this expression e to the negative natural log of x over x will be equal to, 
Now, there's something I always say that the function of a limit, no, the limit of a function, see? The limit of a function is the function of the limit. Now, what's going on here? The function here is an exponential function, okay? That's the basic one here, but E is not changing. E is a constant. What's changing is the x. So you can move this limit in here because it only affects what contains x. That's what's changing. This is constant. Okay, so we can rewrite this and say this is e to the negative. Then you take the limit. The limit as x goes to infinity of this expression. Natural log of x divided by x. Now, it appears this is going to infinity as x goes to infinity. This goes to infinity as x goes to infinity. So it's an infinity over infinity situation. So L'Hopital's rule will work. But just by observation, both are approaching infinity, but this is growing a lot faster than this. Okay, these are smaller numbers compared to this because the logarithm of a thousand, let's say it's not, it's not natural log. Let's say it's um, log base 10. I'm just showing you, look at this. You see that the logarithm of 1000 divided by 1000 okay the logarithm of a thousand is 3 over 1000 you see how small this is compared to this and the bigger x is the denominator the smaller this is it goes to zero you could tell that this expression goes to zero you can also apply L'Hopital's rule if you apply L'Hopital's rule here you take the derivative of natural log of x you're going to get 1 over x you take the derivative of x you're going to get 1 and so your final answer is going to be 1 over x. Now, as x goes to infinity, this goes to 0. So whether you use L'Hopital's rule, which I've shown in other videos, or you just know this expression, that the natural log of x over x as x goes to infinity will always go to 0, then you've saved yourself a lot of trouble. Okay, so I'm not going to go into that. Watch another video, and then you're going to see that that's what, what happens. So by observation, or you, you just apply L'Hopital's rule. Let's get rid of this. So at this point, this is e to the negative. This limit is zero. And there's nothing like negative zero. Negative zero is zero. Okay, so which is equal to e to the zero. And what is e raised to the power zero? Anything raised to the power zero is one. By intuition, by logic, it doesn't work here because this is 0 raised to the power 0 and that's not 1, but you have to show, well, if you say 0 raised to the power 0, you're not mathematically speaking, okay? So at this point, this is what we get as our answer. If you check it on a graph, you're going to see that the graph goes to 1 as you approach infinity. Initially, it doesn't look like it, but the farther to the right to go, um, the more it approaches it. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, don't stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.